Hello, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Magnificent Minis. I hope you guys could hear the music okay and everything. Hopefully you can see and hear me. Yay, it's good to be back. And um, if you hadn't noticed, I'm in a really good mood right now. Really high energy. Things have been chaotic here. Ooh, my music is loud. Hold on. There. Hopefully that's not too crazy now. All right. Yay. I see Chaos Angel, Steve AMA Texas, Geeky Girl Games, Super Sarah. I think I saw Mariner. There's Rainer. Tiger Stark, Tephus, Millennia 38. Yay. Jezebel 01. Good to see you guys. You guys can hear me good? Good, good. Hydrate. Okay, I have, I have Diet Coke. It's not the best to hydrate with. But I have it. Yay. I did miss lunch today. It's over there. But I don't have time to eat it. <laughs> Take a moment to drink something where you're doing them. I'll be okay. <laughs> Yay, Grelix. I love that name. Okay, Spear. You guys can hear me? 
Give me like a thumbs up or something if you can hear me good. All right, we have, we're painting today. I didn't know what to do. I honestly, I was just like, what do I have? And I remembered my friends over at Wander from Red Panda Games. And I had a couple prime models and I was like, you know, those are so cute and so easy to paint. It'll be so much fun. Yay. Um, so here, let's switch over. Who switch roo. Here's John the Chameleon Bard. I just love these names too. And he's like balancing on his tail. He's got a little sword here. And then this is Roland the Red Panda. He's sort of the warrior of Red Panda games. Yes. All right. I want to show you some tricks today that you might not have ever thought about using on your miniatures. And we're going to talk about pastels. Check this out. I, being a fine artist, have always been like, well, why not use different things? Look at this. This is probably not the right palette. Let me find the one that I was looking at earlier. Hey, Arkhamaz. Maltiran. Okay, this is it right here. This is going to be what I'm going to use, this kind of reddish tone. And we, we might use back and forth with paint. I'm not for sure yet. This is going to be the last step, though. All right, let me see if I got one more reddish color. I know I bought a few different things. Nope. So. Hey, Glacier Eyes. Everybody's saying hi. Um, so as many of you know, we are in the middle of a move. I've got my streaming stuff still up. I'm going to continue to stream as long as I can. And I'm hoping that hopefully after, as soon as, as soon as we get out of here, the 19th, I think is our move day. We'll be, um, we'll have our new studio set up for you guys. You got your bust. Awesome. That's awesome. Pastels. Yes. Nobody has said if they could hear me. I'm guessing you can since you're responding to me. So let's go ahead and paint some. So if um, I'm going to give you guys a link to wander. Hold on. Let me find a good picture of Roland. And da -da -da -da. here we go. Here we go. Roland the red panda. So you can go. Here he is. Oh, that's a great picture of him. This is the one I want. The character art is so cute. Open this in a new tab. Okay, that's a humongous. But, all right, check this link out. Readings. Oh, you're lip reading. Are you kidding me? Oh no, are you really? Okay. I could have sworn my mic was working. Hmm. Oh, don't do that to me. Oh my God. <laughs> Seriously, I have so many tech issues. You can't joke about me having tech issues because I'll take you seriously. <laughs> Hi, painting stingray. Just, no, no, not just any pastels, but you, I mean, you can, but what I have here, these are Rembrandt. They're artist quality soft pastels. Um, they are highly, highly pigmented and they will not, they're archival quality. So they will not um, like discolor over time and stuff like that. They're really, really they're not cheap. So really, like one of these will last you forever. But we're not going to mess with those just yet. We have to do some painting first. So I'm, I'm going to send you the link so that you guys can look at my reference. Control paste. There you go. There's a giant link. Go ahead and look at that reference of my Roland character art. So the part that I'm going to be doing the pastels is his reddish, reddish character, reddish color. And I'm going to start... Instead of white, I'm going to use like a, a creamy ivory color and then we'll lighten it up later. Nope. I'm more grayish. 
We'll start with Nacar from Gale Color. If we get these done by the end of the, if we get either one of ooh, a cheer. Thank you. Who's that? Half damage. Thank you so much for the cheer. Look at you. Getting the cheer badge. <laughs> um What was I gonna say? If we get either of these done by the end of the stream, I might do a giveaway. I don't know, but you might have to wait until after the move to actually get it. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and actually, you know what? I'm going to paint his whole face this white color first. Because so much of it's going to get painted over. The nice thing about lighter colors is you can paint light, dark over light really easily. So it's okay. We give him that light color to start. And I thinned it so it's nice and smooth, even, even undercoat. See? No brush strokes. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so, the, I have a video on YouTube that you can actually go watch. It's actually a much better video than we're going to show today another cheer tiger stark you want this game looks amazing yeah um my friends jonathan bradford and elizabeth beckley bradford um they are um oh, i guess owners and they are part owners i can't remember for sure and uh I'm, i got some of these minis from them at gen con and like I said, I had them primed, and I I did not have anything else ready to go for you guys. So I was like, you know, this is the perfect time to paint these guys up. Look at this giant cat here right here taking a visit. Um, <laughs> do the cat hair moat. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. It looks like another tears coming. Thank you so much. That's nice of Twitch to start those little cheer badges. It kind of makes it so that like more than one person can get in on it and have fun with that. It's kind of like that little cheer game that some of the other streamers had from a bot. It's boss. Is that what it was called? I don't like that. Only I like it because it doesn't. Pre I don't feel like it pressures any. I don't know if this Bits Boss did, did or not, but because everybody has it, it doesn't bother me. Okay, this is the end of his little foxy tail. I don't, I don't, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing. Yay! Thank you, Steve. That's awesome. How was everybody's weekend? What did everybody do? Sophia and I went to go see A Wrinkle in Time, and guys, you seen that? If you read the book, or if you like young adult fiction of any kind, um, or sci-fi, young adult sci-fi, you you gotta see it. I mean, it's they really. I mean, I've seen other versions of Wrinkle in Time. I think there was one other version that somebody made, and it was terrible. Um. But this one was outstanding. I mean, we cried, we laughed. It was such a good movie. I think that and Black Panther have been my favorite movies of the year so far. Definitely. All right, so he doesn't have any other... Well, I guess his hands. Let me look at his hands. You were at Roman Lapot's beginner workshop this weekend. Maltiran, you need to tell me everything. Well, don't tell me everything, but tell me, like, what was your impression? You guys, like, just kind of chill and hang out as well as paint? Or what was the experience like? <laughs> Bits Boss was so six months ago. So funny. Spent the weekend pay playing N64. <laughs> nice. Old, old uh, systems, huh? built a new painting studio in the game room so you could stop watching on the couch and coffee table and started painting all weekend that's awesome Grelix 
Yard work. Yard work. You must live... So we're not quite ready for yard work here. And Chaos Angel worked on Convergence of Crisis Chris models all weekend. Painting Stingray says, I have not seen either of those movies. The most recent I saw was Thor Ragnarok. How was that? Because I meant, I've, I've, I actually thought about seeing that. I have not seen it yet. All right. Roland is not wearing, he is wearing gloves. So he, that's all he gets. And I just realized even his tail is completely red, but we'll get to that. All right. Let's do his eyes. I think they, they're going to be a bluish color based on my artwork here. Now, because we're painting a chibi-esque model, we've got to do a little work on him first. I need a brown color. A dark color. We'll use, we use brown leather and we're gonna add a tiny bit of scale 75 ink to it to make it darker. I'll show you the ink. So there's the, there's the brown leather. With a tiny bit of flat black. Oh, no, that's not an ink at all. Hmm. Where's my inks? Ink tense black. That'll work. I'll just mix a tiny drop of that with my, with my paint. So the ink intensity inks, they are meant to pump up your colors. Or down or shift them, however you want. Maltiaden says, uh, it was amazing, but very intense. We worked until 1 a.m. every night, except the last. Not much chilling, but so much knowledge. Was your brain, like, melting afterward? And and hopefully you speak German, because that would be the easiest way to learn it. Fufra, thank you so much for the subscribe. Twitch Prime, awesome. Thank you. Kenny Seagra says, best Th Thor movie, period. Enjoyed it. And Geeky Girl Games says it's nice to just sit and watch. You, oh, you threw your back out. Girl, mm, I know. Look at that. Subscribe, Fufra. Um, I, er, I injured my lower back or my hip while we were moving, and I'm still kind of dealing with it. But thankfully, I, I started treating it right away. I got a massage. I started taking ibuprofen, and I started taking it easy right away as well. All right, I'm mixing the black and the the ink and it's not dark enough, so I'm going to add another drop of black. Drop. Maybe skip kind of see how this is. Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's getting there. See, it's starting to get I want it to be a really deep brown. Thank you for the content. Taught me a, in a class a few months back and you finally got around to finishing those space rings. Awesome. That's really great. So let's see. Okay. I think I got my brown about the intensity that I want. Intense. All right. Rinse out the brush. This is my new paint mixing brush that I've decided to use because it's totally the points all gone. So. Geeky Girl says uh, I'm a massage therapist so I always help anyone but no one was able to massage me. Oh no! So I know I go to this place kind of sketch but they do the best massages. Okay. And it's a good price, too. Nobody speaks English. So I was, I don't know if I'm going to go to the doctor yet or not. I think I'm going to be okay. As long as I don't hurt myself further in the move, I think I'll be all right. But it, it's, it has been aching a little bit, even after a week. So I'm not sure. All right. So the reason why I'm painting all the eyes, because this is, we're actually painting the outline of the eye, but you have to have this first. 
It was in English. Brain did melt, but in a good way. He teaches a lot of color theory and mixing from primary colors, which is something. Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, highly recommend if you're going to start mixing from primary colors or from anything. You can you can use your miniature paints. Just use your mind. You can use your primaries. They're never going to be as pigmented as say, like your artist colors. Oh, that's my baby. Hold on, guys. Look at this. So. Bear is so stressed out from the move and he's been so, so clingy lately. But look at this. That's how he is. Whenever he's, yeah, it's nervous. So, he has a thunder shirt that he wears. And the, the thunder shirt is kind of like, um, it's like a tight shirt that acts like a swaddle kind of. Yeah, Aww. he doesn't like to move. He's a good baby. Hold on, let me go get Sophia and she can go hang out with him. Hey, Sophia, when you get a chance, can you get Bear and get him his shirt? Yeah. Poor baby. He's so stressed out. We got him some kitty anxiety pills. Um, and I, But we're not going to start, start him on it until tonight. Aww. <laughs> All right. Oof, I'm getting cat hair up my nose. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mike. I got the kitty Prozac for the kitty. All right, we're back to pain. <laughs> yes, my cat is, is, he's a very clingy cuddle cat. And he does that most especially when he's, when he's stressed, so. <laughs> my Mike photo maker is kind of jealous sometimes. There was another cat hair. Yep. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I got a little bit of a tiny goof on his eyeball, and you want to make sure that when you're doing eyes, make them as clean. I gotta take my glasses off. Move my mic back. Clean it up around the edges before you start painting on the insides. This, uh, that's just being me being nitpicky. There we go. I'm actually going to get to meet um, Roman when he is at Nova. I'm taking his class. I can't remember if I'm taking his ambiance class I don't remember now I just was like I don't care what it is I want to take something from him you know and when when somebody's a really good teacher you get you get a little bit of everything from them then anyway All right I missed top of the part of the eye by this we go. Check it. Okay. A little bit of a correction over here. All right. Now, this is the blue color I was talking about. Arctic blue. When you paint eyes, try to avoid using white, white. Use either use a blue or use a like a soft pink or um, even a, a ivory. Pretty much just don't use white. It's gonna look like they're bug eyed or they're surprised. You still could still have a great stream just cuddling the cat. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> we could definitely have like an AMA sometime, like ask me what like people could just ask me questions about painting or about business about anything get bear and put his shirt on for him and take him in your room she just got home from from school and I'm like hassling her you need your cat fixes since your son has asthma and we had oh I'm so sorry oh that'd be so hard Reaper makes a great blue flame that works yeah like I said this is this is Arctic blue 
like you said you can use that blue flame I know he's so he's so um, clingy right now <laughs> I got his pills for you and we'll have you 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 pill him after after uh, this evening Sophia is gonna Sophia's gonna be here um, And she's going to learn to pill the cat. Go. Okay, see how I'm leaving the edge of the eyeball? I'm trying to leave it anyway. It's very, very difficult with a camera in front of my face. Julio Cabos uses... A, one of the miniature brushes that Windsor Newton makes. He says that the, having the short short hairs makes it easy. Okay, that's decent. And if I want to go back and fix stuff, that's the thing. Go back and fix stuff. There we go, see? Ooh, a little bit more blue. I always flip upside down to do the other eye. I'm right hand. Makes it so much easier. Whenever I make one of these videos with eyes in them, I show everybody as if this is the first time I've ever done it for you guys because that way anybody new seeing this video for the first time might not have caught any of my other videos with eyes in them. Try to outline that and I'm going to have to clean it up as well with the white. Ah! <laughs> Flipping things around. go okay a little bit more blue in there I missed it's the spot right there definitely a hold your breath moment good okay Arr, it looks like he's ready to go did I miss a bunch of chat? I had to find a new home for your two kitties when you moved to Japan because one had a horrible anxiety. Oh uh, yeah, Bear has pretty bad anxiety, but it's separation anxiety more than more than even anything else. So you know, as long as I'm around, he can take a lot more stress. But I mean, if I'm in and out of the house like I have been, he get, he gets freaked out. Okay, um, so I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with his mouth. I'm going to just go ahead and put some of this brown inside of it. Take off the glasses. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the teeth for now because it'll give it a little bit of a, like an outliney look, which he's sort of cartoony anyway, so that's perfect. One thing, see that? That's the one thing about chibis. All right. Now let me go take a peek at the. Okay, he's got a little black nose. And good, good, good. All right. Um. think we'll do the we'll do the powder now uh, I don't want to usually I do the powder last but I just want to see what it's gonna look like so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm planning on doing see if it works and if we don't if it doesn't work we'll just stop and we'll go back to paint it won't hurt anything mm. 
So you need some kind of tool to scrape. Let's see, and I'm gonna use the top of this box to scrape into, because it's a lot. So you're gonna scrape, we're using either like a flat edge or, you know, your, you can use your um, Zacto blade, anything. I'm just gonna make a fine powder. See, see why this will last you forever if you do it this way? Just want a little pile of pigment. Put your baby cat in, wait, but your baby can fit in your lap while you're painting. My pups are 60 pounds. That's true. <laughs> yes. Steampunk gnome, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I'm gonna show you guys a technique right now we're using for miniatures that I don't see a lot of use. Um, let's see, what the kind of brush I need is actually a flat. Hold on. This is a good brush. This is this is not a flat. This is a filbert. Yep. There's there's steampunk gnome. Yeah, wander. So I'm showing people, I'm, I'm gonna attempt to show, some of this is just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. But I got a little bit of this. I'm gonna go back to my, don't use sharp tools while you read chat. Right, well this is definitely not sharp. I mean, it's, it's just sharp enough to scrape. To scrape. All right, let's see how this looks. So it may not work at all because it might be too light. But you're gonna blush it on. Oop, don't blow on your pigment. Right, so look at that. It's definitely probably too light. So that means we need to go back to paint. But it does give us an idea of what we're gonna do. What I think I'll do, I wonder, 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 wonder. Okay. But you get an idea of what you could do with this if it was the right color. It's just not, it's just not gonna be dark enough. He's not gonna get that red panda look. So we're gonna go back to paint. That's okay. Let's put that aside. We'll fix that in a little bit. I'm gonna get the right colors. This is Mars orange. That's that's gonna be too much. We've got yeah, calamari orange is what I wanted. We want sort of like a mid-colored orange. So that brown is gonna be our dark tone. We need a, something to open with. Well, Pooh, I was hoping to show you guys some pastels. I just don't think it's gonna work on this many. We'll try to make it work though. We'll see what happens. Okay. Calamari orange. Do not want to come out of the bottle. Let me attempt. Open it another way. There we go. Yeah. And this time I'm gonna mix a little bit of brown. It was a dry brush, yes. You don't wanna get your pigments all all sloppy because it'll get all gross. This is a technique when you use one weathering gunpla. Yeah, exactly. You can oh, so so I learned this technique from the ball joint doll community. I used to collect um, Japanese ball joint dolls. This is, I mixed a little bit of the um, brown color that we had mixed, plus the calamari. And it's gonna be my dark tone here. Um, yeah, that looks awesome. That That is what I was hoping that the pigment would do, but it did not want to. 
Maybe putting the blush over the top will be better. So anyway, the the ball joint dolls are made of resin and they really they blush beautifully. And they're all they're all they, they call them face ups. I gotta go look at my Hey Amber Den, how's it going? He's got There we go. I'm going to pretty much try to cover most of the artwork. I want to make it look like the artwork. Looks like his the inside of his ears are also that color. Having that nice light canvas underneath it looks good. It looks like I messed up on his nose a little bit. That's okay. Has anybody here um, played Wander before? Have you guys seen the Kickstarter for it? It's, uh, I think the Kickstarter already funded. I'm not sure people have gotten their rewards yet, but look pretty cool. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I love him. And he does not have any red under his chin, except we'll just give him a little outline here. Now, I'm going to go in with this orange color. This is the Mars orange. I'm going to mix it a little bit with that first color. There we go. going to be our highlight. Kalahari, the desert. Ah, Kalahari the desert, not the alien race. Yeah, this says calamari like the um like the squid. <laughs> there we go. Roland is such a cutie, and the way I'm doing this, I'm giving. I'm making sure the brush strokes are there because I want it to kind of look like fur. Can you guys see that okay? Looks like it's a little bit far. It's 1 p.m. and you're already ready to go home Mondays. Yeah. I hear you. Although, I have to say, listen. We had our daylight savings time. I just saw some robins outside my um, house not too long ago that for me that's like my official first sign of spring like I don't even pay attention to Groundhog Day I check to see if there's robins because if the robins have come home that's that's officially spring for me I'm so psyched because I've already seen them they're already hanging around There we go. He's got a little tuft of. Oh, wait. I thought I saw a cat here. But yep, right there. Boom. Have my clocks changed? Yes, they have. So now we're GMT minus seven, Amberden. And I don't know how that affects you guys. It's the same for us, obviously. Some. I mean, we're, we're an hour. Bring forward, fall back. So we had to. We lost an hour, basically. Some models are still being sculpted. Awesome. And some. Finishing touches being placed on everything else. Love the model, though. Awesome. Excellent. <laughs> and I'm going to give him... He's got this little puff of hair. We want to give it an extra little orange highlight to it. And a little bit of a... Like a little bit of that 
cream color to make it a little bit lighter. A pop. It actually should have been a more of a yellowy, but that's okay. We'll get that later. Now, I'm really curious now if we added the pastel, if it's going to do anything this time. Maybe it was, maybe it will be better. Let's see what happens. Let's finish this. And then we'll we'll try adding the pastel and, and see if it changes. It may not do anything because it might be the same same color. Let's go ahead and put his eyes in. Got a little nose. There you go. I love it. And there's his little beady. Eye. Oh, I gotta take my glasses off because this eye, I want it to be roundish and kind of like a blob right now. Perfect. Those are pretty straight. He looks angry. Rarb. <laughs> now I can take that knee car, give it a little dot in both corners. Definitely a hold your breath. Ah, there we go. And we can paint his. See that? See how we left that kind of outliney look? It looks great. And I'm going to take just a tiny bit of this orange again and on his, he's got like little ear tufts. I'll put that in there as well. Let's try, let's try this, the, um, try the pastel. I don't expect it's going to do much. It's actually lighter than the, than the paint right now. Oh, kind of acting like a highlight a little bit. Blow it. It's definitely making it look more blended, that's for sure. So that's something we learned. We can, we can make our brush strokes go away by using a little pastel over the top. How cool is that? That looks good. Like it's like um, what white did I use? I used we actually used a blue. We talked about that. Where'd it go? We used this Arctic blue for his the whites of his eyes. That's a funny looking Wonder Woman. Uh, did I have Wonder Woman in the title somewhere? The Kirill? I might have, I might have missed it somewhere. <laughs> you use soft pastel to paint your model horses. Yes, exactly. We talked about that. Now, one of the things, now, I don't have the time to do this. But if I were painting this for studio or for myself or you or anything... I would stop right now and I would go and spray fix it because it looks just how like I want it to and the spray fixer it acts like a set point right I'm gonna get out just a smidge of white because I feel like the little reflections are not bright enough he doesn't look cartoony enough Yeah, somebody said this is a funny look. Oh, maybe because you expected continuity in your videos. <laughs> we jump around a little bit here on Shoshi's Minis. Sometimes, sometimes I get painting things in a row and sometimes I have to put something down and then pick it back up a little bit later.
Okay, and now on his face. Highlighting bits of his little cheek fur. Cheek fur. That will help make him look a bit more dimensional and a little bit more cartoony as well. I feel like I really want to put a little bit of highlight in here to smidge. He's so cute. I'm gonna go back with some yellowy, more yellowy orange. Hmm, what can I use? Here we go. The hair yellow and a little bit of that orange might work great. What? So in the UK, changes to British summertime on Sunday the 25th, going forward by one hour. Ah, okay. Early in the chat, Shoshibot, oh, Shoshibot said it. Yeah, I forgot to change that. I apologize. That's all right. Shoshibot does not always get updated like I like. Unfortunately, we were running late on our stream this morning or this afternoon. Running, we ran about 15 minutes late and I got almost everything updated except obviously the Shoshibot not. Okay, that's good as heck. Here we go. I feel like I need to go back and fix his nose. Or the last Facebook that they saw. No, he said that the Shoshi bought. Yeah. That's very likely. Painting his bridge of his nose because that's how it matches the art. I'm gonna take my glasses off for this. this. He's got very small features for me to be painting on stream. I think. I think that the other 75 scale is gonna be a lot easier to stream. Here we go. Not bad. There's something up with his eyes. I'm not sure what it is. I need to try, let me try the flat black. Maybe it wasn't, they're not dark enough. Try a little bit. This is ink, so maybe this will get. Let that dry. like he's not he looks too not too uh did look angry but he doesn't look cartoony enough to so i'm going in here with the ink and i'm just kind of outlining doing my underlining here real quick Let me see the miniature a little bit better. All righty. Let that dry. He definitely looks angry. <laughs> Wow. 
That's weird. In the web page, scale 75 colors. Name is Kalahari. It's possible they changed it. It is. Not the first typo in the labels of scale colors paints. <laughs> ah, thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, so now I've got a little brown. I'm going to give him his little scowl lines. Drawing these on. Because we didn't keep them with the shadow. They kind of got lost. And I'm just going to go ahead and I see how I accentuated his eyes. Brown. Much better. Sometimes it's easier to paint from dark to light, but sometimes you miss it, like I just did. And you have to paint from light to dark. It's really good to be able to be a little bit flexible. And chibis need to be, they need to pop. Okay. I need to fix more here. Let me get that blue that we had on his eyeball. And that was tough. Ooh, touch-ups. Hmm. Okay, so I think I was complaining about the uh, lack of pop on his eyebrows. And I'm going to try to see if I can... We're going to go two steps up. Show you. I'm going to go a step up with pale skin. Now, if you didn't know this, peach is a tint of orange and so I don't know might have too much white in it we might need to add a pop of yellow into our ink yeah in fact I want to do that right now so this is what the ink intensities are for ink tense yellow Take it up just it's very intense so I'm just gonna put a, a drop on the side and then that way I can add it with my brush separate Hmm, okay. Here we go. Okay, so this is a little bit of that peach with a little bit of yellow mixed in. It may look crazy right now, but here's what I'm going to do. i to blend this out a little bit. I'm two steps up, right? Little water, thin it out over here. Nice blend. Let that dry. Don't mess with it until it's dry. Oh, take a drink. Okay, I will. I'm happy to do that. Mm. That's something else we're going to start doing. It is already, let's see, we started at 245 in fifth, what is 335 in about 10 minutes. We're going to take a stretch break, especially you, um, any of you have like hurt your back. Definitely don't be sitting for so much. Get a little movement if, it, if you're not going to hurt yourself too much by doing it. Okay, so that's dry. Let's go back with that orange. This is the Mars orange. And I'm going to make a thin... Is that the right orange? You know what? Take that back. I'm going to go 
with a bright orange. This is a scale color, tea matte orange. Um, the scale fantasy colors are a lot more pigmented. They're also a tiny bit satin, so they tend to have a little bit more color pop to them. Watch that. Boom. That is exactly what I wanted. Yay, now he looks cartoony. See? He's... Boom, boom. Now he's got this big brown mark in the middle of his forehead, which I'm going to take with a little bit of the regular orange here. Calm that down, hopefully, a little bit. Still dark, but it's not crazy dark like it was. There we go. Ooh. I'm going to take my glasses off just to look a little bit. Okay. Smooth, smooth, smooth. A little bit of that orange. That is exactly what I wanted him to look like. Yay. Now see what happens when I just put the orange right over the brown. It, it doesn't, it's not too bad. It doesn't have the pop that it did with the yellow underneath it though. That's, people sometimes have a hard time painting reds and oranges and what, what you're missing is sometimes you need a little yellow or a little peach underneath it to give it that lighter canvas. Does that make sense? Let's see. Right over here in his ears. This is the peach and the yellow mixed together. I even just leave it like that. That looks. I don't like that. And then we're gonna go with that dark brown that we had for the base, the tips of his ears. and the backs of his ears as well. So yeah, you can see the pastel did not have that much of an effect. But like I said, it's all a process. You get to where you're going by making Trial and error mistakes. Paint this tail. I'm gonna get my glasses back on. That kind of orange, orange, red is what you're aiming for with your new War Machine faction. Yeah, you wanna you wanna use a little bit of yellow as a base or some or some peach, kind of pop it. Well, I should say my husband did. Make him select a piece of paper. I don't, I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Let's go with some. Let me look at my reference. Okay, the tail is mostly brown. So we're going to just go ahead. And all the areas that are mostly brown, I'm going to paint that first. Um... He's a red panda. Now keep reminding me he's a red panda, not a fox. You guys might have seen that time that I had um, a kangaroo dragoon. We gave that away and then we ended up giving it away on my Australian stream. Uh, I had an Australian time zone stream and my co-host D-Day actually ended up winning it. It's kind of funny. 
All right, there we go. And he's got brown gloves and boots. Let's go ahead and paint those in. The time for stretch, we got four minutes. We're gonna stretch. Like I said, if we get if we get this guy finished painting, we will give him away today. Although, like I said, I may not get him shipped out until after the move, which will be at the end of the month. So here's hoping. I'm gonna just go ahead and paint the bottom of that whole thing. Not trying too hard here until I get to the metal part. I'll fix all that. Hey, Lamunas and Lam Oxyron, Oxyron, oh wait, Onyx Arm. Thank you so much for following. Welcome. Yay. Did you do anything fun over the weekend, Lamunas? I was telling in the chat earlier that we went to see um, The Wrinkle in Time. We did a lot of packing for the move. I had, I had a teenager come over and help me pack the studio. We got so much done. And then hopefully we're gonna have a big moving sale after we get back from Adepticon. Da -da -da. Started painting a couple miniatures from Mythic Battles Pantheon. Ooh. Nice. Get this part. Myth Mythic Battles Pantheon. Is that a board game or is that a regular game? Or, sorry, miniature game? Everything's a regular game, right? Painting its belt right now with their dark brown. Normally, I would paint this outer, and but then I'm gonna end up cleaning it up anyway, so. There's his sheath. Go. So, I have also been hearing rumors all over the place that a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers are moving to Twitch, which is interesting. I did not, I really didn't see that coming because, you know, Twitch is so different. But YouTube's been having troubles. There we go. Got multiple weapons. Got a big broadsword. And he's got this knife right here. This is going to look so cute when we finish him, guys. I can already tell. He's got light brown pants, which I'm going to mix. Let me see what happens when I do that. No. Yes. So one of the things. So I just mixed the Nacar with the brown that we had in our palette. Clean. My keys. Okay. okay. Um, and why the reason why that works is because um, when you keep your palette limited and you mix the same colors with each other, then they always look good together. It's very hard to clash when you've been mixing colors off your palette together. So See that they did a little bit of brown here. There we go. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna check chat. So I'm going back and forth with my screens. Hey, Nixon Minis. 
It's a board game with some really nice miniatures. Lamunas, can you whisper me that? I'd like to see. I feel like I feel like I've heard about it, but I'm I'm thinking I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Roland look good? Need to zoom on Roland a little bit. I feel like normally... He's so little. He's so teeny. Stretch time, thank you. Okay, everybody. Everybody get up. Just stretch your arms out back and lean back. And then you're gonna like look out to the distance. I just popped my back. Oh my God, that felt good. That feels really good to stretch. Now you're just gonna Rotate a little bit, small movements. <laughs> We're stretching. Woo. Yeah, that definitely needs to, it is gonna be a regular thing and I think we will get an amount for it. What do you mean community rules? I don't see how that was against community rules. Felt good though. Crack, crack, crack. Woo. All right, did everybody stretch? Were you good? <laughs> I think we definitely have to have a stretch emote so that people can like click the stretch emote if they actually did stretch. Half damage painted all day yesterday and your back was killing me last night. Gotta stretch more too. I think if you get up and stretch at least like once every hour and maybe the massage therapist in the chat can confirm this or maybe we should be stretching a little bit more but I think if you stretch every hour you're gonna feel so much better and you're not gonna ache as much the next day yeah. now I can't I uh, can't switch screens. My mouse isn't working. Did I turn it off? Hold on one second. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, Roland. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. Keep those doggies moving. Keep those doggies rollin' right. <laughs> stretching cat emote yes every hour is a good rule good we will keep that rule it definitely feels good to, to stretch a little bit after i've been um with the new setup i won't need to hunch as much because i won't need to get quite so under the the um under everything Does that makes sense all right, let's see. What is next for Roland? Let's do some Nacar. Um, actually, no, I don't want Nacar. I want I want this color, Dubai Brown. And actually, it looks like Dubai might be his pants color too. Pants. There we go. We're gonna make this shirt. The base color is gonna be the Dubai. But the top color is gonna go up to cream or to yellow, I'm not sure yet. Man, Cam, go. I'm gonna get some coverage there. Oopsie.
There we go. So, Wednesday night, I will probably be streaming by myself. I think, Mike, I'm not sure. Mike, are you, I don't know if you're listening, but um, I can't remember if he had plans or not, or if he was going to be doing moving stuff. My plan was to stream, so I'm going to be streaming, but in case I'm by myself, either way, we're going to be working on um, some of Aruka, the shaman orc. See, we've been working on her. Got a lot of her done. The whole back of her needs work, though. She doesn't have that much to go for, but the whole back, the staff. So we're going to be working on her on Wednesday. And that will be my plan. I'd like to keep it switched up every now and then. Oh, that looks pretty. I like that. There's just enough orange in the Dubai brown to make it look like a nice leather. Okay. And what else? Oh, we got this leg here. We're going to go ahead and switch this over to this color. Oop, that's his, that's, that's his uh, cloak. Ta-da! Okay, let me check chat. Wednesday night, are you... Yeah, it's pie day. He's volunteering at the make. I knew you had something planned, so... Yes, he is cute, isn't he? Just wait. It's, he's going to get cuter and cuter as we go. I'm going to do some metallic metals on him. I think that'll look really... It'll really pop and look good. Let's see. He's got... Okay, yes. I'm going to fix a little bit of his face over here. That was bugging me. There we go. There's just a few little... There we go. Miss, there's like just little brush marks that I can see that are very small. They might not even show up on cam, but I can see them. And they're bugging me. Ah, cat hair. Hmm. There we go. Alright. Now. A little bit of this peach. Right here. And right here on his eyebrows. That first one came out better than the second one. There we go, that's better. This is mid right here too. Now, the tail. That tail had some orange in it. Not a lot. But we're going to go in and see wherever there's little puffs of fur. Kind of go over that with the orange. Now we get this part. <laughs> yeah, check your points. We're going to do a points giveaway. Well, are we going to do points? Maybe we'll do a keyword so you don't have to use your points. What do you guys want? Points make it so that the people who are loyal and are always here... Have a little bit of an edge. 
than people who are just showing up for the giveaway because we, we also don't have the giveaway advertised so that makes it a lot easier to win as well as soon as you put giveaway in the title of a ch of a twitch chat all of a sudden everyone shows up it's great but it's also like you want to hope that people come to watch painting. Not always the case. Ta da! There we go. Points. <laughs> okay. We're, we don't. We don't have to do. Oh, you want you want to do the points? Okay, you're checking your points. All right, I think we're ready to do the leaves, which means I need a yellow. Here we go. Canary yellow. Oh, Lamuna sent me the link to that game. Here's the Kickstarter for it. Mythic Battles Pantheon. Become an Olympian god and fight beside the greatest heroes and monsters. Oh yes, I have heard of this. Roll copy. I'm going to show you guys. This is the game Lam um, Lamunus put. Beast. There we go. You guys can check that out. You're here for the painting? Yeah. <laughs> good, good. I'm going to mix a little bit of this with the Dubai, Dubai Brown for one of the things I'm doing at Adepticon when I'm there is I'm actually taking Elizabeth Beckley Bradford's layering class. I'm so excited about it. Layering is not something I, I do a ton, but it looks really good with chibis and with the Kingdom Death figures when the, the way she does it. See, this is this is layering. I'm just not, I think that layering takes a little bit more patience because it requires more smoothness with the blending. So I mix the Dubrai brown with the yellow and we got a lighter Dubrai brown, a more yellowy. Now I'm kind of over brushing on top of my buy over here with this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have a little bit more yellow now. Mix it with that same color. Now this is the layering, it's like shingles. You're gonna go a little bit smaller and that is streaky as heck. Why is that so streaky? Let me try smoothing it out with a little water. That's much better. There we go. And now this is just straight yellow. That is. I feel like that needs to go and get desaturated quite a bit down to ivory. A little bit too yellowy. Let's see what you guys think. French game Mythic Battles has some awesome minis. Ah, okay, I didn't realize it was French. 
I'm gonna sip my my soda. Let's go back to my ivory here. We've got white sands. And what this will be my top, top, top highlight. And it will also desaturate the, um, the yellow a lot. So it'll look more creamy. But it'll have that yellow undertone, which will be nice. That. Boom. Put on that elbow there. Okay, now what? Let's see, he's got a red cloak. It's a very deep, dark red. So what we want to do is we're going to use that brown again. We're using the same colors over and over and over again. I'm going to add a little bit more black to it this time. For even more depth. While we're doing that, see we're because we painted inside out, cleaning up that yellow a little bit at the same time. And I bet you didn't think that you should do a dark brown underneath a red, but it will look good. Watch. Red is again one of those tricky colors. Sometimes it looks best when you have got an undercoat of something first. There we go. This mini comes in, I think he comes in one, two, three, four pieces that you glue together. But you could sub-assemble him and paint him and not have to worry so much about like all the little lips and stuff that I'm having to paint around. Let's get a little bit of that red back. Now, for the red, we want it to be a very dark red. I think this Haster purple, it's actually not purple, it's a red, is going to be, it's going to look nice. I trust you, I just trust Bob Ross, just as I trust Bob Ross, I think a giant tree in the middle of his painting won't look good, but then you have to trust him, and in the end it looks amazing, Ah, <laughs> That's great. Okay, so I'm just... I'm not 100% sure about this red yet. So I actually want to put a red behind it. I'm going to put a... Ooh, I'm dropping stuff. Uh-oh. It has a cap on it. That's not the right red either. Dropping everything. This is Antari's red. And what I'm going to do is use this as my base to put behind my dark red because if I just put straight dark red on the brown it's gonna look like blah you're not gonna be able to see it at all 
but this red itself is a little bit too bright. So again, this is kind of that two steps up, one step down. Okay. And if you really like this, you could leave it. You could just go with this. Some people might like that bright, bright red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the box art though, and I'm gonna go with the dark red. See how we automatically have our shadows in place now. I'm not bothering to go all the way up into it because this is this is just my highlight color. Red is the highlight, not the brown, not the brown. That, again, that like I said, that doesn't look half bad, but it's just not not the shade I want yet. Try to get it nice and smooth. If it's not 100% smooth, it's okay because we're smoothing it out. I'm off cam, or was I off cam? I'm off cam now. I was tempted by the Harry Potter miniatures, but the only problem is, is that Night Models is making them and they just tend to be very difficult to build. Listen to me, night models. You guys, there's so much work. I have to like re sculpt stuff or cut stuff out or fill stuff in. We had a follow, didn't we? gonna alert me yay color crusade thank you for the host that's awesome thank you welcome from everybody from color crusade we're painting Roland the red panda from the game wander I'm just about to show people how I'm taking this red up to two degrees in value and then I'm going to knock it back down with this red right here, Haster Purple. Woohoo! Night models are pricey and the sculpts are great. Yeah. Small host starting at the moment. Ah. Well, great. Let me see about following you so that I see when you're on. Let's see, let me go to your channel. Color Crusade, you need a song. Here we go. Alright, I'm following you back. You've had two videos. That's amazing. Great. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna add you as a friend. So now I have to check you out. <laughs> okay. Check this red out. It's gonna change. We're gonna we're gonna tint it with Haster purple. It's actually not a purple. It's a red. And there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Look at how nice that is. Nice and dark. Because we can just go straight over the brown with this also. Because it's a satin, and the other colors are more more matte. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Color Crusade. Welcome. Have you watched me before? Might be the first time. We um the streaming community here on Twitch really is nice and people are very generous. Oh, I just saw another follow. Tom Goddard. Gadur. Thank you for the follow. 
I'm just adding this color over my orangey red. That look, that's looking nice. Because it's got that matte color under it, it's not quite so shiny as it would be if it were just, that is exactly how I wanted it to look. Let's let that dry. We gotta get this little sleeve up here. Glasses off. it back here can't quite see but you if you're like me and you're a little bit OCD you have to get it anyway oh I saw a follow night models are getting negative feedback about the decision to kill the Kickstarter and go with pre-order you know what I think that's a great idea bigger companies Max Low House, thank you for the host. <laughs> I love it, Max Low House. Um, I think that's good. I think some of these bigger companies need to do that more often. Because, um, one, it makes more sense. They already have established businesses. You know, Kickstarter is taking money from them. So if they have an audience already, now killing a Kickstarter after they've already started it, I can I get it. I get it. It's a little bit iffy. Kind of like building audience and then kind of moving it. But you know, if a Kickstarter is gonna not have some kind of cancellation fees or something, I don't know. You know, I guess they can't really. Not what Kickstarter's about. But yeah, personally, I feel like Kickstarter Kickstarter shouldn't be for companies to come in and just, you know, basically do over and over again. This, you know, maybe the first time they start. But after a while, I'm, I'm not as much into it. Let's do his breastplate. Oh, it's stretch time? It is. Let's do a stretch. Oh, my goodness. I like that. We've got that command now. Hmm. Feels good. Do a little stretch for this one because it's not been a full hour. We're almost done. We're going to do the knee pads and the weapons. And then we're going to do a giveaway. Do a little bit of orange right here. Got some little leather stitches. Ah, that's not gonna come out well. This sometimes the been sitting in the pan for too long. It gets a little bit not creamy anymore. Not soft. Oh, that's not bad. Oops. All right, switch back. Personally, pre-order seemed like a better idea that should be guaranteed. Yeah, exactly. All right, shall we do the, yeah, shall we do the giveaway and then I'll finish painting while we, while you guys do that? Let me get, go set that up. So check your points now. I'm gonna do, so you, you need a minimum of three points, or sorry, you can, you can buy a min, you can buy a maximum of three points and each point will cost 10 stars, I think. We'll figure it out. I'll show you.
Okay, the raffle is open for... You can buy up to three tickets with exclamation point tickets and then you'll then you'll type your number one to th one one through three we're giving away roland the red panda and i'm gonna finish painting him while we watch while you guys buy your tickets a little bit of aluminum by game model air it'll be nice And actually, I'm going to start with some gunmetal. Do gunmetal first, and then we'll highlight with the other color. With the aluminum. 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 Here we go with this beautiful gunmetal color. My cat is whining. I can see him. Oh, you got your shirt on. Yeah. Talking to me. Don't worry, whoever wins this, I'm going to finish him up. He'll be completely finished. I'm going to take pictures of him and send him. Now, if you live outside the U.S., all I ask is that you help me out with postage. It's probably not going to be more than $15 to send. Um, but if you want to help me with it, I really, really appreciate that. Everybody who tips and cheers and um, donates to the stream, you guys, subscribers and everything, all you guys are always helping with this. Pays for pays for these types of things. At least all my North American friends for sure can ad take advantage of that. All right, what's up? There we go. Here's another sword over here. Hey, Diomedes Industries. You made it. We are giving away a Roland. Roland the Red Panda. So it costs uh, three, it costs 10 points a ticket. And you can get up to three tickets. So join in if you are interested in winning Roland from Wander. Okay, I got my medals on there now. I'm going to take my aluminum. Ah! I'm going to highlight. Let's see, I think. Ooh, there's a little bit of red in that one. That's okay. We'll fix it. Oh, that's why. I put I put the aluminum into the uh, same pan. There we go. I fixed it. Same pan as the uh, red was in there. Okay, breastplate right here. And knee pad. Alright, you guys ready for me to draw the winner? We almost ready are we almost ready? Roland is ready. I got it all. We might highlight my highlight on the gloves a little bit more when I come back to him. 
Aw, Bear says, let's do the drawing, Mommy. I need cuddles. Can you hear this cat? Crying. All right, ready. Let's go draw the draw. Draw the draw. Half damage, you won! Congratulations and hype! Here we go. There. Disappeared. All right, let's look for someone to host. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I am going to oh weird I'm gonna host winter tide studio winter winter tide wolf studio let me see if I can write that out because I've not I don't think I've hosted them before but they're on we're gonna raid them he's got his got his thunder shirt on it, Okay. A little bit. <laughs> and I have care on my lipstick now. Winter Tide Wolf Studio. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Let me try this. I must not have typed the name right. Huh. Maybe I have to do it exactly. Bear with me. Nation point. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> it's still not letting me. Hmm. Maybe they're offline. Oh, now we're raiding him. Finally worked. All right, guys, I'll see you Wednesday. I want you guys to have a great week, and we will see you then. Don't forget to raid. Oh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> Type mad love from Shoshi's Minis when you get into his chat. Bye.